few countries rival South Africa's wealth of design talent. Being spoiled for choice, the owners of this home went to Fazlan Hussein, a design in Daba emerging creative, now enjoying a flourishing career. My name is Fazlan Hussein. I'm the director at Collectic Interiors. Come and join me while I show you my latest project. I've always wanted to run my own business and when I had the opportunity to do that three years ago, I took the bull by the horns and it's been a very interesting journey so far. Growing up, I've always known I wanted to be in the design or creative industry. So when it came to graduating, I knew exactly I wanted to do interior design. And the reason why I like interior design because it actually incorporates a bit of fashion, a bit of graphic design, a bit of art. So I just felt like it's the perfect direction to go into. As Utata Madiba observed, speak to someone in their language and you speak to their heart. It applies as much to the language of design. This has become one of my absolute favorite projects I've done so far. I did the interior architecture of the space and worked really closely with the architect Tariq Jumat. So the clients wanted a space where they could entertain their family and the look and feel we went for was very light and airy and modern and contemporary. The clients are a beautiful Muslim couple and we wanted to incorporate Islamic elements into the space. We did so by choosing this gorgeous Arabic architectural artwork. We've also done it with a beautiful Arabic clock in the kitchen. Within the space, as you can see, we've got a beautiful neutral background. And what that allows the client to do is, at a later stage, they can easily change up the color palette without having to change any of the big furniture pieces. So that's a little tip for you guys. We've also done some accessories in orange just to lighten up the space. And it also ties into the feature wall, which is actually the fireplace. Of course, with any big family, having a big dining table is a must. We went with a gorgeous wood top and with the glass on top, making it easy to clean. The downstairs area is entirely open plan, using the fireplace as a dividing point and also an anchor for the eye. Interiors are an art of what's hidden too. And with a fully functional scullery that's out of sight, the kitchen has become a social area for visitors. I designed it in the sense to have a very clean and minimal look using beautiful timeless materials. We brought elements of black into the kitchen through the pendants and the tapware and that ties in beautifully to the architecture, the window frames and the door frames. When it comes to doing interior design, what I love to do is understanding the client's needs and requirements because essentially I'm designing a space suited for them. So it's quite interesting because it's understanding the psychology of how they use the space, are they entertainers, are they outgoing people, and that influences the design completely. Though always with a Fuzzlin signature. My personal style is eclectic, but leaning more towards contemporary eclectic. So a great tip when choosing your scatter cushions or any materials for that matter, choose materials that are quite different so it adds layers and texture to the space. With the TV room design, we decided to include a different color, a pop of blue. We used solid oak for the TV unit and these gorgeous slats that runs vertically and horizontally. And it just ties into the contemporary look of the space. Prior to the upheaval of lockdown, the talented Miss Hussein began designing a furniture collection. And now she's also working on a line of art that repurposes discarded pieces of marble. I'm really excited to start my journey into artwork using these marble pieces in an interesting way. And what I really love about it is I get to get my hands dirty. Fuzzlin also paints with light in her use of the sun, candles and recessed lighting. In her hands, fixtures can become artistic sculptural pieces. The homeowner has a great affinity for plants, so creating a space to highlight her plants was definitely a must. And we did that with the gorgeous staircase design. I styled the plants with a collection of beautiful vases, which looks absolutely stunning with the LED backlighting. 
It's all a canvas, mixing wood and terrazzo from the floor onto the staircase and walls. She uses height to dramatically frame what might otherwise just be a passage, and she understands what anchors each area. And now we're in the master bedroom. What a beautiful space. What we did here, we actually replicated the slatted design that you saw in the TV room. It just adds nice warmth and ties in perfectly with the floors. So instead of going for bedside lamps, we opted to go with pendants. And the nice thing about this is it actually clears up your pedestals, leaving you with a more clean and contemporary chic look. Tying into the slumming elements we wanted to incorporate into the space, we chose this cute green ottoman, which is so beautiful, and it just gives me that Moroccan feel. Neutral doesn't mean without character. Fazlan has just managed to bring that charisma to the house in the subtlest way. So what I love about recreating spaces is looking at a space in its bare and naked form and then adding so much interest, basically creating a personality for the space. And I absolutely love that. So I love also incorporating the functionality, but then also being really aesthetic and beautiful and just a pleasant to enjoy. Thank you so much for coming to do this house tour with me. I hope you guys got some awesome tips along the way. The next step for Fazlan Hussein in her quest to design luxury interiors with her own signature is commissions from abroad. And it's only a matter of time. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.